let's go ahead and make sure the agency is linked. Okay. On this is easiest. Just over on the right hand side, click link agency. You don't have to unlink it. Okay. So what am I going to do? Oh, link. Sorry. You're right. Go ahead and link the engage. Allow all access. Okay. I didn't do that the first time, so maybe that's, but yeah, that's the same. Perfect. All right. So task system. All right, we're going to go ahead and enable service. So let's just go ahead and put your email address in here. It's fine. Yes, I think I want non admins to only see their tasks, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, first things first, grab this custom menu link and let's go drop it into your agency. That's so this one right here that I just copied. Yeah, yeah we're going to okay. come back to this screen again here once you get this part done. Okay, so let me go to agency. So settings. You got it. And oh, custom menu link. Create new. Do I care about the icon? Uh, just type in task. Okay. That way it's cute and looks right. Where can I? Oh, right there. Here we go. I'll just do that. Perfect. Link name. Service just request. So I assume you're wanting to use this for sub accounts so they can request. Um, actually, no. So maybe I should say this. So this is for them to have task managers in their own account. Like I have one. It's a sales company, right? So he wants to have his virtual assistants manage all of their to do's in Perfect. engage. Perfect. He's cake. All right. So um, so now you can show this to all accounts and if mm -hmm. it's going to work for all sub accounts. Just that easy. Um, but go ahead and toggle that off real quick because I want to show you how it works. This one? Yeah. And let's just add it to a sub, couple sub accounts. Okay. Go to the blockchain and I'm going to put it in up level. New support. We'll start with those two. Perfect. Hit save. All right. So now go to either blockchain or up level. Aha. Uh -huh. So I can change that. Like I can let them change that if they are like we can just say tech. Yeah, you would want to change it like task management. Okay. Right. And here's yeah. here's what's kind of cool is now you can white label your service as far as because this is just a tool. Yeah. So you can white label. How do you want to do it? So you click add project and I'll just walk mm -hmm. you through some of the basics of it. Just go ahead and name the project. Go add a short description, just even a letter is perfectly fine. Uh, go and then assign Kelly to it. There we go. Perfect. You can assign any of these guys to it. Okay. Yeah, and Will 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 be able to also also. So go ahead and click import tasks. What that means is is any existing tasks that exist inside Either on the no. customer records or anything like that. Okay. Exactly. They're going to go into this. There you cool. go. So click on uh, Will's test mojo. <laughs> there you go. Now you've got your Trello board that you can design and build the way you want. Oh yeah. See, somebody did a test in there. One of the devs must have, this is beautiful. I'm a lister. Other people's are visual, but I miss click up and I hate base camp. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, no, awesome. so. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, you'd want to change that from service requests like task management. Yeah. Uh, now, one of the things that you can do is as an agency, if you wanted to drop, if, if you wanted to have one central place, you can drop a board. Now, keep in mind, this is a task manager. You're right. looking at task manager living inside of the sub account. Right. If you want to, at the agency level, create a task management system, you can. And then in settings, you can go and then generate a link and then mm -hmm. add that link to your other sub accounts. And then yeah, see, which we'll need to do. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, a template of this is a recurring whatever. It's a project that we want to just be able to say now for this this sub account we need to do these steps. Jeff, I'm on the, the a call right now. You can tell me in one minute. Fall no, break right now. No problem at all. Yeah, we've got a <laughs> we've got twenty through to twenty two years old down to ten. So oh, I've okay. got the last two two three decades, two yeah. decades with, <laughs> with interruptions. 
Okay. Um, so yeah, so play around um, like with settings because you have automations, you have procedures. You can get very advanced if it's just a simple Trello board that you're wanting to drop for these guys. Mm -hmm. This is exactly how you do it. Okay. I yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go in and mess with it. So thank you so much. I you're appreciate welcome. your help. Okay. You're welcome. While while we're on, do you want me uh -huh. to show you how to create that request management system for your agency? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let's go to your agency real quick. Because it's two different ways, and that's the reason I wanted to record this because these use cases are, are great. Okay. And now so, um, actually, so let's go. What is the what is the sub account that your agency lives on? Uh, it. I think it's engaged. I don't actually. I think it's this one. Okay. And yeah. I'm not sure. We'll see if we've added the custom menu link to this one. Okay. No, I didn't actually. Yeah, uh, so let, I'll just go to up level. It's okay. okay. Or do I need to do it in the engage? One? No, up level's okay. fine. Um, we added it here. So. Okay. All right. Perfect. So let's go to the service request real quick. Perfect. Let's create a new project, add project. All right. Now let's call this um, client support. So there we go. A good a short description. Doesn't really matter. There we go. Perfect. Next. Find me. Hmm. Uh, you may not be added to this, huh? Oh, well, I mean, no. I should you, you don't need to add yourself to this because this oh, okay. is in the project you're automatically added. Oh, okay, so I'll just add Alexis. So I'm doing it, but I'm already on it by default. Okay. Perfect. All right, so go ahead and um, import task. There we go. So now you're going to open the project real quick. All right, so now what we're going to do is you can always build this out here in a oh, little bit. It would be like to do, doing, done, in review, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, that would be your columns. So let's go to settings real quick. So again, the use case for this is you're an agency and you're wanting to drop a specific support board, not a task management system, right. to your sub accounts. So that's right. what we're doing here. So let's click add category and just type in uh, support. I'm gonna do community yeah, support. Okay. Who's driving the ship, Jack? All right, so let's set subcategories. It was Lida. Chicka Lida was driving the ship. Yeah. Pretty cool. So let's give it uh, three or four subcategories. So what so with community support, what sections do people ask for help? There we go. Perfect. And hit plus, let's do a few. You can always come back. Up, let's see. Distribution. You can tell we're crypto. Uh, questions. Projects. Pixel. All right, that's All right, good. So go, ahead, go ahead and add. Beautiful, beautiful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the task form real quick. There we go, new task form. This will make sense here in just a second. Just scroll down. You don't need to worry about any of this. Um, all right, go back. Go scroll up. New task form. There we go. There it is. You get a save option. Okay. So go to request. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's do it again. Categories. Okay. I missed a step. I think you're supposed to go to the, hit the toggle. Oh, okay. No, I'm set up. Uh, Okay, add, add. or oh, default oh. assign. Yep, there you go, default assign. Add, there we go. Now, next, next. there we go. All right, cool. Just a community support, um, select the subcategory. This one really doesn't matter. There we go, scroll okay. down. There we go, finish. All right, so the, disregard the error. So now okay. scroll up. All right, so there's your menu link. So okay. the external link, what that means is if you want to drop that in some other website. In our okay. Discord or whatever, we want to say here, go ahead. Okay. Exactly. Now, okay. the custom menu link, let's copy that. 
Um, and yeah, let's go to the agency. Let's add that to wherever you want to go. Uh, now we're going to need to generate a pen. So we're going to have to go back to that because the pen is just basically that's going to authorize that area to open up and use the form. One of the things okay. we didn't want to do, we didn't want to say, hey, here's this customer request form and then have that link get accessible from other people Spam. that don't have a pen. Right. Okay. So I'm going to, do I have to do the pin first or? No, no. The order you're going in is great. Let's see. We'll just do a ticket. A ghost pirate. Whoa. Um, there we go. Oops. Okay. So is that by default showing everywhere? Oh, it's on all. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes, it is. So let's go to let's go to that um, where you can create a pen where you just created that. I think it was what was the name of the client? We were in up level. There we go. So let's create a pen real quick. Scroll down. Oh, I'm sorry. Not in settings. You can oh, okay. Sorry. Right. You need support. Uh, nope. So where you're no. in, right? So <laughs> you're looking at it as a as community support. Okay. You're not actually looking at a task manager. You're looking at a task board. Okay. So your the service request is where you need to go. Okay. Yep. I thought there's two. And it looks like it looks like you don't actually need to worry about the uh, the pen. Um, okay. I could create an update today. Is that what the receipt ID was? That oh no no no. So this is this is super cool also. So receiving ID is that allows you to move that to another agency. Nice. So what we envision actually people doing is is people want to build out these whiz bang type task management systems. They're going to mm -hmm. be able to do that in such a way that it would be treated as a marketplace. So if somebody makes this just amazing uh, Trello board and they want to share it within our system, the receiving ID is what you would share with them and go to it. But if you scroll over to the right, I do want to show you something real quick. So see those three dots? Click. Mm -hmm. There you go. So that would be a project. Mm -hmm. so you can share. share it across the things. Yep. So the share project. Mm -hmm. You want to add that to another oh, sub account? Yep. You would get the sub account's receiving ID. So mm -hmm. Okay. Show up. So you just put the receiving. So I copy that from the sub account and then just type it in here and I can share it with that yep. one. Yep, exactly. Perfect. You can do it either within your agency or outside of your agency. That's beautiful. Yep. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for helping me. Okay. Bye.